Today we're talking about item specifics. Are adding those in killing your impressions and your views? And is there anything you can do about it? Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about item specifics and all of those issues associated with that. Most every seller out there is being required to add a ton of item specifics. There's also thousands that we are being recommended as well. So all over the place, people are being forced to do changes to their store that could affect specific things like impressions or views. Now, that's not a necessary reason to panic. Obviously, the more impressions you have, the more views you have, it is deemed to be better for your store. One key factor related to this is the fact that just because you are losing impressions and views doesn't mean that it's hurting your sales. Now, why do I say that? If someone is able to narrow down their search to just what they're looking for, they may not have any need to be shown your item. It may not be what they're looking for. So even even if they were shown your item, your impressions were way up, all these people were being shown your item, they may have not been interested in it in any way, shape, or form. It may not be something they wanted. They may not have been able to add that item-specific search in there before, but are now, so you may have lower views and watchers. That is a thing. It is not necessarily a bad thing. It is helping the buyer in this case sometimes. Now, I know there's a ton of item specifics that are recommended or required that don't mean a thing. A good example of this are the recommended ones in postcards. We have thousands of postcards, so I've got thousands of recommended item specifics. eBay is wanting to have people put in whether the postcard is used or not. Now, a true postcard collector or anybody wanting an image on the postcard, which is the vast, vast, vast majority of everybody looking for a postcard, they're not going to care whether the postcard was written on in the back and has a stamp on it or not. It's not a deciding factor. Pretty much every single person out there is going to be looking at postcards in general and not going to care. If they want a filler, they don't have the postcard, they're not going to worry at all if there is an address on the back and a postage stamp as well as a cancellation. It doesn't mean a thing. It's a completely useless item specific to add. By things like this, it's very obvious that eBay is not asking the people who run the categories, who buy the items at all, what they would be looking for from what I can see. Because a lot of the item specifics that are shown to me or I have to deal with are something that would mean nothing to the person searching for the item for any reason whatsoever. It is pointless. They are spending extra money. They are investing in staff. They're writing in the script and the IT aspect of this for things that are are completely useless and will not help the eBay system. Not only that, it will actually deter people if they accidentally are forced into a search for a specific reason. I've shown in another video searches and what shows up and how eBay steers you to only a specific category on your first search result query. That could go for them forcing people into specific item-specific sections as well, meaning that if you don't put it in or you put one in that doesn't match what eBay says, it could still be hurting you across the board. So a lot of these, what I see, are completely and utterly useless in the categories. It makes no sense for them not to have reached out to first off buyers as well as sellers and get a consensus on what helps everybody, what would help us list it, as well as help the person looking for the item to find it. There's no rhyme or reason to a lot of these item specifics. They are completely useless. And I know for a TV or a specific brand new pair of jeans, an item specific for the color, the cut, whether they're skinny jeans or size 34, 32, or whatever the case may be, I use those all the time. Those are completely and utterly understandable in all of those sorts of categories. Video games, same thing. Books, same thing. But a vintage collectible of any kind, it makes utterly no sense. That is not how the market goes. They're using corporate America, brand new NOS, 
thoughts to address a category that they should far know better than anybody else being the number one platform basically for collectibles for many years not so much these days because more sites have more collectibles when you put them together than ebay does but they should have the information to know certain things are completely useless they should be able to look in for postcards for example and see how many people are searching for the word used postcard versus unused or unmailed or unposted these are terms that you just don't see or just aren't being looked for on ebay why aren't they using the majority of the search terms to dictate the item specifics that should be used even in those cases though there could be some issues with it the the meaning that they are using for these item specifics they've went over the deep end in many of the categories again it's not honestly affecting me and if i will have to put some more in i just download them like ebay shows or i go to the bulk edit and i do it that way also many of these item specifics won't be relevant to the item it'll just be an na in the item specific line to say not relevant basically that's the 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 point on some of these it's just totally useless and a waste of ebay's time a waste of the buyer's time and a waste of the seller's time they really should be checking on the people who use these categories and sell to people routinely Without knowing specifics on the category, how in the world can you dictate an item specific that should be in that category? Even in categories like with cameras and stuff, some of the item specifics have, again, no bearing on the item that I am selling. I had a manual I had to put item specifics on that were related to light bulbs, flash bulbs, made no sense whatsoever. It's those sorts of things that just show you they don't have a clue on the items they're selling. They really need to reach out to people in the categories so that the categories reflect what people actually are looking for rather than what eBay thinks they should be looking for. Bottom end is though, don't be nervous on your impressions going down or your views going down. All that means is probably some of it's getting filtered out. Now, obviously there could be some issues, but most of what everybody is showing me from screenshots and things before and after they've added item specifics seems to again be related to specific types of searches. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone isn't going to buy the same items they had been before. It just means that people aren't going to have to look through items in some cases, as we said, that won't be relevant to their search. So they may not be showing your items. Your impressions may go down, your views may go down. But what I have seen is my watchers have not been affected at all. They still are coming in just as they always have, same numbers, same percentages, and the whole works. So all this shows me is that impressions and views go down because of people not actually wanting to look for certain items. So it does go both ways. So a lot of them are useless, but some are good and are helping people to find their items easier. A loss in impressions and a loss in views for items that you wouldn't have sold anyway doesn't really affect your store as long as those watchers and the sales are still coming in. I honestly don't even look at my views or my impressions. It's not a factor. My sales numbers are what I, I worry about. If for some reason my sales drop and I'm not able to bring them back up, then I would look at that as a last resort to see if something else is going on with the system itself and not related to me specifically. So no major reason to panic from my opinion on this. But anyway, that's what I have for you today.